Welcome to Hopewell Heights. I'm Steph and this is Ernie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back carry in a woven wrap. I got my woven wrap yesterday, so I've been doing this a total of one day and I already love it. I have four kids, Ernie's our youngest, and I have baby worn all of them. I have always wanted a woven wrap, but for some reason I was just intimidated. But what I realized just in the past day is that it's so easy and that's why I'm making this video now because I'm not a professional. I don't have a ton of experience, but I want to show you guys that this really is not as intimidating as it may seem. If you can use a stretchy wrap or figure out how to comfortably back and front carry in a structured carrier, then you can figure out a woven wrap. If I had it to do all over again and I was a brand new first time mom and I could only choose one wrap, I would choose a woven wrap because you can safely back carry a baby from day one in a, in a woven wrap. That is not safe to do in any other kind of carrier. But in woven, you can carry on back, on front, on the hip. You can do so many carries from the time that you have a newborn on. And one reason that I would really love to be able to back carry a newborn is this isn't very well known, but when you're freshly postpartum, you actually don't want to be putting any kind of pressure at all on your abdomen or on your pelvic region. And even wearing that baby up front, snuggled in really close, it's pressure. And that puts pressure on your pelvic floor, which is something that we just don't want to do in the postpartum season. So having the ability to carry a brand new baby, tuck them right on your back with a woven and have all the benefits of baby wearing, have them right near to you, but still be able to get up and do just a few things that you need to get done is such a great thing. This is my woven wrap. As you can see, it is very long, a lot of material here, and I think that's why it can be intimidating sometimes, but as you're gonna see, it just takes a couple of minutes to get baby nice and secure, tucked in on your back so that you have your hands free. First thing you want to do when you're getting started is find your middle. So if you're familiar with stretchy wraps, they have a little tag in the middle. Your woven wrap will have the same. It'll have a little tag on top and bottom in the middle. So find your middle and then just lay your wrap out on a flat surface like this. Then you are going to grab your baby. So you want to lay baby with the top of the wrap and about the middle of the back of his head. And then the bottom of the wrap will come up under his knees. I'm going to gather the sides of the wrap toward his nose, keeping it under his knees. And then bring both ends to one side, pick it up and throw him over my shoulder. Not literally throw, but put him over my shoulder. All right, I've got him right here over my shoulder, and I'm just gonna bring him around to the center of my back. So he is on the center of my back here, and then I'm gonna bring the straps over my shoulders. So I'll show you what he looks like on my back here. You can see he's centered on my back. I'm keeping the bottom part under, tucked under his knees, and I'm going to step on the two sides of my woven to keep it tight. So now he is secure, he's tight. I can be hands free so that I can start wrapping him with the sides of my woven here. So when you're wrapping, you wanna keep the top edge tight. You can use your chin to do that, you can hold it in your mouth, but as long as you're stepping on it, then the baby is going to be secure on your back while you work. So start with one side here. Keeping the top held tight, twist your wrap, bring it under your arm, around the outside of baby's bottom, and then cross it through under the other leg, all while holding on to this strap. So see, I've got one crossed and twisted. I'm gonna do the same thing. So now this, this strap that I just wrapped, I'm gonna step on it and hold it in place. <laughs> now I'm gonna do the very same thing with this next strap. So you can see that I have this strap wrapped and secure. I'm gonna hold the top of this one very tight as I twist, bring it under, around, the outside, see right under his leg here, cross under that other leg, and now 
I have both of my straps and baby is nice and secure. See how secure he is there? Now a really important thing to make sure of is that baby's knees are higher than his butt. So you kind of want like an M shape here. See, like up, down, up, down. You want baby to be in the shape of an M there, okay? So he's wrapped, he's secure. All that I need to do now is finish this wrap. I need to secure it so that it stays in place. So you could bring it in front of you and simply just tie a knot. That would be fine to add another just layer of feeling more secure. What I have been doing just over the last day is crossing my straps again in the front. So to do this, I'm gonna work one strap at a time. So I'm just gonna step on the strap that I'm not using to keep it tight. I wanna keep everything tight while I'm doing this. So first I'll take this side, cross it over my chest and around the outside of this part that I wrote over my shoulder, and just twist it in. He's already asleep back there. <laughs> since I started putting them on here. So I just twisted that in right there. And now that is nice and tight. Let me go ahead and do the other one. So I was stepping on this side. I let go and I'm gonna bring it across. And wrap it. Just like I did the other side. So there you go. Now you can see, you can kind of spread these out over your chest so that it distributes the weight of baby. side there. There we go. So now he is nice and snug and secure and he's sleeping. <laughs> you can see he's very comfy back there. So how awesome would this be to use with a brand new baby? I would have loved to have this when he was brand new because I had a kind of a weird situation where I had a cow that had a baby around the same time as me and I needed to get out and check on her and work with her a little bit, but I had to leave him inside because I was too nervous to put him on my front and be around a cow. And then I had anxiety being away from him for a whole like two minutes. So it would have been neat to just tuck him on my back, take him along with me. So let me back up and show you guys how secure I am with him tucked on my back here. This is totally hands-free. I have total range of motion, and that's just with these straps hanging here. So I could then, now that I've crossed these over, which that they were fine before, I could have just tied them like I showed you guys, but crossing them over under the arms has made me feel really, really secure. And then just kind of having these arms come down across my shoulders, as opposed to being all bunched up right here on top, takes the pressure off my back. So I can barely feel that I'm even wearing him. I don't feel any any pressure on my back at all. This is just very, very, very comfortable having the weight distributed over my shoulders, across my chest, and across my back with him tucked in there nice and tightly. So I could go ahead and then tie these and just kind of maybe tuck them. There's so many ways that you can finish your wrap to make it look pretty and also to be practical so you don't have things hanging everywhere. So you can tie and tuck like I'm doing now and I'm not, I'm not watching myself do this. I'm just, it's very easy to do. What I did earlier, I was just kind of playing around with this because I'm having so much fun with it, is, oh no, I didn't tie it. I tucked it, they were hanging like this and I kind of brought it, brought each side back through a couple more times. Let's see. I think I did two more times. And then I put each side over my shoulder. So I did this on both sides. And this actually kind of just looks like a cute top when you do that. All right. So that's it, that's how to back carry in a woven wrap. There are actually many more ways to do this. This is just, it's just the way that I've been using over the last 24 hours that I've had my first woven wrap. And it's so simple, it just takes a couple minutes. It doesn't take that long to get baby out either as soon as you kind of get this See, I can have this thing untwisted in just a few seconds. And although this is a lot of fabric, this particular woven wrap is actually very lightweight, so it's good for all seasons. But you can get them in like a heavier weight fabric if you're in a colder climate and you want something that is a bit thicker. I'll link this wrap in the description as well as a blog post with detailed instructions on how to back carry in a woven wrap and just some tips and 
things to look for as far as safety. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please be sure to click subscribe and hit the like button. I make videos every week on motherhood, homesteading, and life here on our farm.